I've got some um, uh, wonderful people playing with me. Scott McCabe over here on piano, Nathan Eicher back here on bass, and Jared Johnson. And uh, I'm Joy Harjo. This song we're going to do is, um, it's a it's a land acknowledgement song, and what it's saying is that uh, we acknowledge the keepers, the original keepers of these lands. Right now we're coming to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma, the Muscogee Creek Reservation, and also lands of the Osage, the Cherokee, and um, many people. This has been a place of history, of uh, some painful history, some beautiful history, and we're all here together, and we're all charged with being keepers of this land, of this place, and music is one way to be a keeper. So this next song is um, called Wichi Taito, and most people, it's Jim Pepper's song. It's how Jim Pepper came to fuse uh, his um, Muscogee Creek caw um, music with jazz. And uh, he was encouraged by the trumpeter Don Cherry. He says, hey, you know, you know all those songs from your, uh, your grandpa taught you, and you know, why don't, you know, and you love jazz, why don't you just put them together? And um, so he wrote this song, Wichi Taito. His grandfather is part of the Native American church, and it started with that, um, with that, uh, with that beat. And the intention of this song always to bring kindness, to bring sanity, to bring balance, to bring love to whatever it is we're doing. So of course when I started playing saxophone, I was almost 40, and I was in New York, I went to find Jim, I was in New, in New York, and I uh, went to see him. He said, come on over and see me, and I was just learning, I had a soprano. And um, so he treated me like a, he didn't treat me like a, a fresh 
starting saxophone player who was an adult and wouldn't go anywhere because I was an adult. He treated me like a sister. And uh, so I had to do a version of this to honor him because we all have ancestors. There's jazz ancestors, and you, you go back to Muscogee Creek music, and that's another, <laughs> that's another project I'm working on. African, African music, one of the roots, European melody, etc. cetera. And uh, if I go back to <laughs> Muscogee Creek saxophone, I have to, Jim Pepper is standing above me. Wichitato.
your spirit feeling springing round my head makes me feel glad that I'm not dead. Richie, Richie, Tato, Richie, Tato, give me raw, give me raw, horo nico, horo nico, horo nico, horo nico. To get back from the devil man, which she tied to give me raw. Oh, Ronico, Ronico, hey, man, hey, man, no way. Here we go. For Jim and for the spirit of the music. I think that's what's keeping us all going these days. You know, poet people always say, What are you doing? You're a poet. You know, but when poetry came in the world, into the world, there was music and um, there was dance. 
These guys don't know what I'm going to ask them to dance one of these numbers. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, this next one is called Equinox. And it's not, uh, it's not John Coltrane's Equinox. We're very well aware and honor John Coltrane. Mudo, thank you, John Coltrane. <sighs> Equinox. And uh, it's about standing, you know, I always like to thank the people who pick us up from the airports when we go someplace or take us out to eat, make sure we have food, et cetera, et cetera, because they're an important part too of any kind of endeavor, any kind of performance. And I was standing outside a um, B and B somewhere in the middle of Michigan and it was uh, equinox and I was thinking about how at sundown too, the sun was going down and thinking about how at sundown it's you know it's good to go what the old ones taught me is it's good to go with, you know, we're all in we're all in part of a ceremony the sun ceremony the sun comes up it goes around we do we we move together and at sundown it's a good time to let things go that's what you hear the birds out there everybody say out there saying thank you we had a good day now let's everybody knock it off and get some rest and go to sleep <laughs> but it's a good time to let if you're holding something some bad words watching too much politics on tv and all of this, you know, this strange time we're in of, a, of global wounding with the pandemic and then um, injustice, racial and human injustice in uh, these lands. And um, sometimes we have to lay the burden down. And that's what this is about, this, this song, Equinox. It's time to let the burden down and to get on, get on with it. from breaking into the story by force if I do I will find a war club in my hand and the smoke of grief staggering toward the sun your nation dead beside you Broken my addiction to war and 
Okay, you guys are the first ones. This is, this is the first time out this little tune is walking around here. <laughs> and I guess the last week of the month, we will be uh, finishing up the recording. We'll be finishing up the recording of a new album called This Morning I Pray for My Enemies. And Barrett Martin is coming in from, um, he's from the Pacific Northwest. You know Barrett? Yeah, he's great. Um, he's coming in and we'll be recording over at the old uh, guitar house front and this poem this poem this song will be um at the front so i guess we'll be like on display sort of like a recording music zoo <laughs> anyway uh this one is called stomp all night in honor of um i'm part of the the uh, ceremonial ground people and and uh so this is a new song Sisters, they know how to stomp up all night, cook all day, give it to the brothers, they know how to sing in the circle all day, up all night, round dance, chicken scratch, 49 and stomp, bury my heart at Horseshoe Bend. We pay for light, we pay for water, next thing you know we're gonna pay to breathe harder. They know how to stomp, text all day, talk all night, give it to the brothers, they know how to sing, love all night, pay all day, Agasami, Hisagaramasi, Pomadi, Moe, Tawigas, Pocahoya, J G A D, Mon Agatlechka, Hinglin, Pogalajan, Abie, Yatha. Till the morning. 
healing life. The Trail of Tears ends here. The Muskogee Creek Nation Reservation. Stomp all night until the morning light. Stomp all night until the morning light. We take care of the songs, and the songs take care of us. Okay, thank you. So we're looking for some singers for that one too. Thank you, I guess we're gonna close on a rowdy, another rowdy one. And, uh, but I wanna introduce the band because they've made this, uh, I mean, that's what it's all about. It's like, it's, we just, we rehearsed on Friday and then playing with them, I don't wanna stop. <laughs> yeah, these guys are great. Over here is Scott McCabe, and he's been uh, working as a musician for almost 30 years, and he's played with a lot of incredible people like Randy Brecker, <laughs> uh, Terry Lynn Carrington, a lot of great people on here, Clark Terry, and, um, and so on, and we're very lucky to have him here with us. Behind me, Nathan Eicher, and when I first came to Tulsa, I asked... Uh, um, Jason, you know, I really, you know, who should I he get to play with? And he said Nathan, and this was some years back. And uh, he's in a great bass, you can hear him, the great jazz bass player, composer, and educator. And right now he's a teacher for Tul Tulsa Public Schools and has a master's degree in jazz studies from University of Central Oklahoma. And he and his father, and this is important, pay attention, because you can go... Uh, his father, jazz violinist uh, Shelley Eicher, and they're great. I've heard them on when they host Wednesday night concert series at the Oklahoma Jazz Hall of Fame. And uh, I like these quotes that were in his bio. One positive thought produces millions of positive vibrations, John Coltrane. And uh, a lot of us are here writing on some of John Coltrane's vibrations. Jared Johnson on drums. He's an active as a professional freelance drummer, percussionist, performing and recording extensively with regionally and nationally known artists. He's been a featured performer here. We're at Duet Jazz, and thank you, uh, and the Oklahoma Jazz Hall of Fame, and it appears regularly with the Tulsa Playboys and the Mike Cameron Collective. He also has an album out. He just gave me a copy. I haven't had a chance to hear it yet of original compositions. The Grapes of Wrath Project, Modern Jazz Reflections, inspired by characters from John Steinbeck's novel. And I want to say thank you to Tulsa Artist Fellowship, to uh, the uh, Here Duet. I'm excited that, you know, we're all going to be excited when things fully open up again. Um, Jeff here, the staff, the recording staff, everyone, and 
My name is Joy Harjo, and um, this is, uh, we're going to um, play, next we're going to play Rabbit Invents the Saxophone. Now, for the Muscogee Creek people, Rabbit is a trickster figure. A trickster figure is like a clown, and they stand, they, you always find the clowns right next to the seat of power. That's because those holding power need to be reminded that it does not belong to them. That it's any power, whether it's governmental or in music, is meant to be shared. And though sometimes things get a little awry when the trickster winds up in the seat of power. But I figured Rabbit, as a Muscogee Creek trickster figure, must have had something to do with inventing the saxophone. When one of the last trails of tears wound through New Orleans, Rabbit, that ragged trickster decided he wanted to be a musician. He was tired of walking, and they had all the fun. They got all the women. Fans gave them smokes, drinks, and he could have all kinds of new friends to do his bidding. But Rabbit hadn't proved to be musical. When he led at stomp dance, no one would follow. No shell shaker would shake shells for him. He was never invited to lead, even when the young ones were called up to practice. The first thing a musician needs is a band, he said to his friends. The hottest new music was being played at Congo Square. So many tribes are jamming there, African, Native, Caribbean, and a few remnant French, making a new music of melody, love, and beat. up to the stage. He had nothing to offer. Just his strut, charming banter, and what looked like a long stick down the tight leg of his pants. Musicians are musicians. No trick will get by. You either have it or want it. Nothing else will fly. Do you know any songs? What can you play? Can you sing? Do you have a piano? tuba or strings. The musicians began bapping. What can this rabbit cat do? Is he going to blow hot air or fart in the rain? Rabbit turned his back to the band like that genius Miles Davis. Pulled out a stick, he made a horn with his hands. His stick is so special, said Rabbit, as he turned back to the jam. No one else has one like this. You've never heard it before. It's a sax, sax, oh, oh, phone. Rabbit's newborn horn made a rip in the sky. It made old women dance. It made girls fall to their knees. It made singers of tricksters. It made tricksters of singers. And made trouble wherever it showed up after that.
last time we heard Rabbit was from my cousin's run for chief. There was a huge feed. Everyone showed up to eat. Rabbit's band got down after the speeches. We danced through the night, and nobody fought. Nor did anyone show up the next day to vote. They were sleeping. Thank you.